If you're newer to the air fryer, I'm so excited to show you four of the easiest recipes to make in your air fryer. Consider this your air fryer initiation. After you try these, you will be officially obsessed with your air fryer and will be wondering why on earth it took you so long to get one. Hey there, my name is Kathy from FabulouslyFrugal.com and here on my channel, I love to inspire and empower people to use their air fryer. Not only do I have a whole lot of air fryer recipes, I have a whole series of air fryer 101 videos that will remove any hesitation you might have in using your air fryer. I'll link to all of those below or you can also come to my channel and check out all the playlists I've created. Today, I'm gonna to guide you through a few different meals that you can make in your air fryer. And at the end, I've got a crazy easy dessert for you called air fried Oreos. Stick around, cause you will not wanna miss that one. Are you ready to begin your air fryer maiden voyage? Let's go. One good rule of thumb to remember is if you can bake it, if you can grill it, if you can fry it, you can likely air fry it. My air fryer basket is a 5.8 quart and it's nine inches by nine inches square. So if you have a smaller air fryer than I do, you'll just wanna cut these recipes down by half. So first we're gonna take your typical grilled cheese sandal and whip it up in the air fryer. Now you might be wondering why in the world would I wanna do a grilled cheese sandwich in the air fryer? Trust me, it is fantastic. Not only will this taste amazing, you don't have to worry about your sandal burning. For best results, I do suggest that you use a bread that is nice and dense and a little bit moist. The cheap white bread that you buy at the store, it just won't turn out as nice as a moist, thick bread. Then you just make up your grilled cheese sandwich like you always do. Today, I'm using some sharp cheddar and some white aged cheddar for my sandwich, and I'm just doing some simple Simple butter there on the outside of the bread. Now when it comes to cheese in the air fryer, I always like to use parchment paper just because I do not enjoy cleaning cheese out of the air fryer basket. And if you don't have any air fryer parchment paper and want to learn more about that, I have a whole video about air fryer accessories. I'll also just leave a link down below where you can check it out on Amazon. It's pretty cheap. Pop it in the air fryer at 350 for three to four minutes. And then when it's done, flip it over to toast up the other side. And there you can see how easy that parchment paper makes the cleanup. Up. Listen to this crunch. Perfectly melted cheese. Oh my, it's so good. You can totally get creative with this. Throw on some pesto, tuna fish, crab meat, ham, tomatoes. The possibilities are endless and you will love this one. Next, we're gonna cook up some bell peppers, sweet onions, baby potatoes, and some Adele's chicken sausage together. This recipe is so flexible, so if you can mix up the sausage, mix up the veggies, just follow these guidelines and make it yours. So first I'm gonna de-seed and chop up two peppers. I love the sweetness and the color of the red and orange peppers, but pick out whatever you like. Set those aside in a large bowl and then peel and chop a sweet onion into quarters. Just cut it in half and then in half again. Now, if your onion is bigger than mine, you might wanna cut it into eighths. And then just separate your onion. You want the pieces to be about as big or a little bit bigger than your pieces of pepper. You could use a regular onion or even a red onion. Toss those into your bowl with the onions and then it's time to dry off the potatoes that you washed. We wanna get rid of the moisture because we're gonna be adding oil and obviously oil and water don't mix well. Now I'm gonna just stir in one or two teaspoons of avocado oil. You can use any oil that you prefer. I personally like the avocado oil because it's tasteless, has great benefits, and it has a high smoke point. And now it's time to preheat your air fryer. My air fryer has a preheat button that sets it at 400 for five minutes. When the air fryer is ready, just drop your veggies right into the basket. You don't have to grease the basket because we already have the oil right there on the veggies. Then get your baby potatoes and drop those right over the vegetables. You'll just wanna make sure those potatoes are fairly small. If they're not, you can cut them into quarters and just make sure they're about the same size. I'm gonna spread my potatoes out so they aren't touching and then I'm gonna get my Misto sprayer. Now I use this instead of a can sprayer that you buy at the store. Number one, because those sprayers have propellants and other chemicals in it that are not good for the air fryer basket. Plus I don't want them in my food. So I bought this one off of Amazon. I've been really liking it over the last couple of months and I just put my avocado oil in it. It's cool because it has a pump and it acts as an aerosol sprayer, but there's no propellants in it. 
I'm just gonna lightly spray the tops of the potatoes and then we're gonna cook this at 370 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. I'm giving a range of time because every air fryer is slightly different. Some of them have a lower wattage than others. Mine is a 1700 watt, so it cooks a little bit hotter and faster than ones that are just like a thousand watt. While that's cooking, get about 12 to 14 ounces of pre-cooked sausage. I love the Adele's brand because it's natural and not full of additives. Plus they have amazing flavors. This is the one I'm using today. Now I just like to chop my sausages into quarters. If you wanna go with a thinner coin shaped sausage, you can. You will just wait and put those in the last three to four minutes of the total cooking time. If you want, you can stop at the halfway point and give those veggies and potatoes a little stir. You can see my veggies are starting to crisp up beautifully. Go ahead and let that finish cooking. And then after that first 10 to 12 minute cook cycle, we're gonna throw the sausages in. Unless you cut them smaller, you're still gonna wanna wait. Just separate the sausages so they're not touching each other. That way they can roast beautifully. Then cook it at 370 degrees for about another 10 minutes. Again, I wanted to peek on them after about five minutes of cooking. The potatoes were very close to being fork tender, but I knew they needed a little bit more time. I just gave everything a one more quick stir and then let them cook up that last five minutes. And then check it out, they were perfect. I love this recipe. Number one, cleanup is a breeze. Plus I didn't have to spend time adding extra seasonings or anything. All the flavors just blended together so nicely. You can literally have dinner on the table in less than 30 minutes. Next, we are going to roast an entire chicken. This is incredibly easy and will instantly save you money because you can usually get these whole young chickens for 99 cents a pound. I bought myself a four and a half, four to three quarter pound chicken. And seriously, it's five little steps and you will have this amazing chicken already. Yes, it will fit in your 5.8 quart air fryer. So the first step I'm gonna do is get all of my seasonings ready. This is the blend that I'm gonna use today, but you can use any poultry blend or spice mix that you love. I use a teaspoon of rosemary, a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of pepper, a half teaspoon of thyme, a half teaspoon of sage, a half teaspoon of ground mustard, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of basil, and then one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. Mix it all together and set it aside. Next, I like to set aside just one to two teaspoons of oil. It really doesn't take much. Again, I'm using avocado oil today just because that's my favorite. You do what you want to do. Then it's time to preheat your air fryer. It's only five minutes at 400. I'll just push the button on mine. While the air fryer is preheating, just remove the packaging from your chicken and pat it dry. Now, I will probably get questions about this, but the FDA actually recommends you do not wash your meat and poultry. It's because you're more likely to spread bacteria in that area around the sink and countertops. So just pat your chicken nice and dry with paper towels that you can easily discard. Next, get that little teaspoon or two of oil and massage it all over your chicken. The oil is gonna help the seasoning adhere to the chicken and it's gonna help it get nice and crispy. Then it's time to grab your seasoning and just rub it in. Now, at first, I'm always nervous that I'm not gonna have enough seasoning to go on my chicken, but I promise you it's enough. Put it on both sides, get the cracks and crevices. If you have enough seasoning, you could even put it under the skin if you wanna go there. Then it's time to just open up your air fryer basket and you're gonna place the chicken right inside. You wanna put the breast side down. We're gonna cook it that way first. If we left it breast side up the entire time, the top would burn. Now you can see with my chicken that I didn't have any issues with the legs or wings sticking up. If you do, you can definitely use some twine to twine those legs down and together, but that's totally optional. Then we're gonna just close that up and cook it at 350 degrees for 40 minutes. And here it is after 40 minutes. Look how beautiful it is. It's already starting to smell terrific. I just like to get my silicone tongs and pop it in the cavity there and flip it over. It's a little awkward, but you can do it, I believe in you. We're gonna finish up the cooking and brown the breast side of the chicken and it's gonna be delicious. Now, if you have a smaller bird, you might only need to cook for about 15 minutes more. Since mine is a little bit larger, I'm gonna go with 25 minutes. And this is where that instant read thermometer comes in so wonderfully because you just use it and take the temperature of the breast and you can even check the drumsticks and thigh area. You just want them to get to at least 165 degrees or until the juices are running clear. When it's done, just use some tall 
tongs, pull it right out of the basket, and I like to set it on foil and tent it and let it rest for about 10 minutes. Check it out. Look at all the drippings that are in the bottom of your basket. You could use this for gravy if you want to. Clean up as a breeze. Just make sure you discard that oil in a safe place. Wipe it out with paper towel, and then I wash the basket in hot soapy water. And check it out. Look how juicy and amazing this chicken looks. And it's so exciting because this was so easy to do. I told you we were gonna have a super fun, delicious dessert. It's time. We're gonna make some air fried Oreos. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I really prefer to make things from scratch. But to remove any barrier between you and your air fryer, I wanted to go as simple as possible. And let me tell you, these are really good. And I usually don't even care about eating Oreos. You could even do this with peanut butter cups. This is a dangerously easy air fryer treat. First, be brave and open up that container of dough. It's my least favorite part. And I just placed my eight Oreos on it, thinking that one crescent roll was gonna cover one Oreo. But I think because I bought the Grands box, it's obviously bigger crescent rolls, so I had extra dough. Don't worry, I was able to use it and I got four more Oreos out of this batch. Just pinch the dough and move it together so there's no Oreo exposed. Place these in your basket. You wanna leave enough room around them so there's enough room for airflow and the dough does expand a little bit. Then just bake it at 350 degrees for four to five minutes. Then check it out. After four minutes, these were perfect. Just dust them with some powdered sugar while they're nice and hot and you will see the cookie is so soft and creamy. These were surprisingly a really good treat. Be sure to check out all my other air fryer recipes that will inspire you to continue using that air fryer. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.